Hello, my name is Gabriel Klug, and I'm a principal attorney at Klug Dolly Wall Lopez, a professional law corporation. Uh, we have an office here in Sacramento and also in Marysville, and uh, we do a lot of different things in relation to helping people with debt issues, and those can be from a type of a chapter of bankruptcy, or it can also be negotiating, negotiating with creditors, or also filing an answer in a lawsuit. But today what I would like to discuss is the process and procedure for a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. And so what I've done is I've listed nine separate steps in a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. And uh, this is somewhat condensed. And I just want to be clear that um, there are additional and, and more information in, in any one of these steps. But this gives a bit general idea as to how the process works. So the first thing, and the first step that we have, is meeting with an attorney. One of our attorneys at this office will give you a free, no time limit consultation to really discuss your financial situation and see if a Chapter 7 bankruptcy is in your best interest. And we will spend as much time as necessary to understand your situation and also to see uh, if you qualify. And there are different qualifications regarding that. Once we have determined uh, that Chapter 7 bankruptcy is your best uh, option and uh, you decide to move forward with a Chapter 7. The second step is that we prepare your bankruptcy petition, the schedules, and other documents. A Chapter 7 bankruptcy uh, is approximately 50 to about 75 pages, so there's a lot of information in relation to the petition itself, all of the schedules, uh, certain documents also include the means test review, and also the statement of financial affairs. So all of these documents are prepared before the actual filing of your case. The third step is doing a sign-off. So when we are completed, completely done with your bankruptcy petition, we will sit down and review your bankruptcy and make sure that you understand exactly what's being filed on, on your behalf. We also make sure that during this sign-off period we receive certain signatures from you to uh, identify that this information is, in, is indeed correct. After that sign-off, we get to the point when we actually file your case. So this is step four. You can see that in the first three steps, there's a lot of information that we gather and a lot of preparation that takes place before we actually file. Now that's done electronically. It used to be that you have to file in person, and that would take a lot of additional time to make copies and so forth. But today, by filing electronically, we're able to get a case number very, very quickly. And that is very important because of step number five which is the automatic stay. The automatic stay is one of the main reasons people file for bankruptcy because the automatic stay is basically a bankruptcy injunction that stops all collection activities, lawsuits, those pesky phone calls from creditors, garnishments, and also foreclosures. We have filed numerous cases for people that have debt issues but also foreclosures coming up and we file to also stop that foreclosure and sale date. So the automatic stay is very important. About 30 days after we file your bankruptcy petition, we have something called a meeting of creditors. Now, the meeting of creditors sounds very scary, but ultimately it's a very short hearing that we have with the trustee. It takes about five minutes where we will sit down with the trustee and the trustee will ask you specific questions regarding your bankruptcy petition. And now, regarding the meeting of creditors, creditors may come, but it's very rare when they, that they actually do come because they are usually unsecured creditors like credit card, debt, medical bills, and so forth, but creditors will not come to your meeting of creditors. It's very rare that they actually come to the meeting of creditors. Now that's very important because that is the one and only, typically, uh, appearance that you have in front of a judge or a trustee uh, regarding your Chapter 7 case. Now after the meeting of creditors, within a few days, you'll be receiving a report of no distribution. This is basically a notification given to the creditors stating that there is there are no assets to be sold and liquidated uh, to be paying off your creditors at least pennies on the dollar. Now, I want to be clear that these are no asset cases. Out of all Chapter 7 cases, 96% are considered no asset cases. Again, meaning that there are no assets that the trustee can seize for distribution to the creditors. Now, the reason, the way that your, your assets are protected is based on exemptions that we use to protect, for example, vehicles, uh, bank accounts, even equity in someone's home. 
Now, after the report of no, no distribution, you will be receiving a discharge notification about 90 days after filing. Now, this is, of course, the main reason people file, is to discharge and wipe away, discharge means wipe away all of your unsecured debt, and also, to some extent, it depends on specific tax debt that might be able to be discharged, and also uh, other debts, uh, including payday loans. All of these things are discharged um, 90 days after the filing of your case. Now, after the filing of your case and after the discharge, you'll be receiving a final decree, uh, which actually closes your case, and that is the official last document that you'll be receiving in relation to the closing of your Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Now, as you see, these are nine steps, and out of these nine steps, it takes typically between three to five months from the very, very, very beginning to the very end to file and also wipe away all of your debt. Uh, again, at KDL Law, this is Clube de Lyme Juan Lopez. Uh, our number here in Sacramento is area code 916-395-4448. And we also have a website, which I will give here, which is www. KDL Lawcorp.com. Uh, please visit us on that website. And if you have any questions regarding a bankruptcy or would like to make a, an appointment, please call us again, area code 916 395 4448. I want to be clear again that this is a very condensed process, and feel free to come to our office and we'll explain this in more detail. Thank you.